Let me pull up my chat as always. Should be a fun day for a stream, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Yo, what's up, AAM? How are you doing? What's up, Corgi the best? What's up, what's up? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Jake the Snake? How's it going? What's up, Brock? How are you doing today? What's up, Cal? What's up, Green Goblin? You guys all doing good today? We can stream hype indeed. What's up, Cademan Plays? What's up, Sir Sheep? What's up, Tissy Boy? What's up, Mello? How's everyone's Sunday going? Sunday fun day? Pretty good. What's the best strat to re reach round 100? Um, Super Monkey Ice Village. Doing pretty good, John. How are you doing? Is it balloon pop in time? It is indeed balloon pop in time. How would you know, bro? How would you know? Okay, our first match of the video or the stream is against Alias Fee. Alias Fee on the map, Sam and Ladder. We will be bringing Fate Weaver Adora to the playing field. I tried to say avocados from Mexico. Did you actually? Oh no, they skip. We'll sun pause. That's um. Hmm. Let's switch it up here. Let's switch it up. We'll go Striker Johannes. Striker Johannes. Hit him with the good luck. I'll hit him with the hearts. It's my brother's birthday today. Yo, happy birthday to your brother. Mortar, obviously. What do I want to run with mortar? So mortar. Let's bring Druid. Let's bring Village. We're cooking. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, Elder King. How are you doing today, bro? Where do you even put the Druid on this map? Not entirely sure. They're starting with the Alcoka. Okay? I'll place Druid like back here. What weakness does Fate Weaver Adora have? Uh, I don't know what the biggest weakness would be. It's a pretty well-rounded hero. I'd say. I'm going to leak a lot of lives, aren't I? That's fine. It's all good. Uh, we didn't leak that much at the end of the day. We didn't leak as much as I thought. i you eating chicken sandwich. Nice. W chicken sandwich. Yo, how's it going, Amy? Welcome to the stream. Bro, what is the strat? Please explain. What do you mean, bro? It's a OP strat. It's going to be OP late game. No, Tiger doesn't use village. It's a... You've got mortar and village late game with Striker Jones. Is there a need to explain it? Is there a need to explain? Doing good, thank you. How's it going? I'm doing pretty good as well. Wait, oh, I shouldn't have placed my Striker Jones here. I shouldn't have placed my Striker Jones here. This is a bad Striker Jones placement. Hmm. Because they have Fate Weaver Adora. Turn up game volume. I might honestly sell and replace it. Seems weird. 
but wait, that doesn't reach. Oh, my striker Jones placement's even worse. How does that not reach? What? Tell me how that does not reach, bro. What? That's stupid. Oh well. Oh well. Mortar got nerfed though, yeah. But still wouldn't be terrible. Okay, I can reach on the back end. I can't reach on the front end. Does more does Striker Jones ever get range? With, with, with its levels? I'm not sure if it does. I don't know if it does. Turn up game volume? Okay. Wait, oh, it's... Yeah, currently my game's it's not actually capturing game audio for some reason. Let me see if I can fix that. Currently the... Properties. And okay, now it should be capturing game audio. Yeah, it wasn't even capturing it beforehand for some reason. It doesn't get range buffs? Okay. Okay, okay. What's good? You're how's it going? Lock it. How are you doing today? Oh crap, I don't have um the thing. Well now I have it. I didn't have signal flare. Welcome back from last stream. Okay, they get rubber going there, so I'm gonna stop sending them black blooms then. Stop sending them black balloons because they have rubber to hold up. Force balloon jitsu? No, it's not worth. If I rush them, I'm just gonna give them money with their rubber to gold. After they get rubber to gold up, it's not really good to balloon rush them. And I have an eco loaded as well, which just I don't really have money to rush. But there's no point. I'd have to send a pretty big rush to force jitsu too, because they have level three fate weaver ability. Level 12 and level 17 striker get range increase, okay. Not for a bit. Bro hits me with the what's up guys, I'll hit him with the hearts. Bro hit me with the what's up guys. Chicken sandwich juicy, true. Are they rushing me? Chillin'. We'll get our first jungle's bounty here pretty soon. 
Why'd you place your hero in that spot? To counter the level 7 adorability, but I placed it a little bit too far off the map where it's not hitting the balloons. I placed it a little bit too far off. At least it's buffing Mortar True. True that. ZOMG. Okay. Just keep on getting Druid Farms up. On strong. Keep stunning this whenever we'll get the stuns available, and then we'll get an artillery battery, and that should be enough. I'm not for Dru my druid placements are definitely kind of bad here. Can we have a house tour? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so, unfortunately. Alright, let's use another ABAT ability. Boost. I'm dead. I used the A bat ability too early. Dang it, bro! I needed to wait longer to use my A bat ability. I didn't think it would die out so quickly. I needed to wait. I needed to wait to use my A bat ability there. It died out a second or two too early. That's unfortunate. Oh well. I need my druid. F I need to wait and let my druid farms pop the BFBs down a bit until I use the about ability, and then I would have been good. Why do bots BM after winning? That's how they always do it, dude. Yeah, the about ability used to last more than seven seconds. If it did, I would have been fine. My room's not very... My room's kind of a mess right now, though, so... I don't think I'd want to do that. But yeah, I had the defense. I just used the A-bad ability at a bad timing. But I had the setup. I had the setup I needed. Bring back Skibbity BTD77, true. Hi Ryan, how's it going? Tannel Goldberg, how you doing? Oh, don't spam, bro. Don't spam, bro. Yeah, I could have done that LMS, but I didn't know because the Striker 10 ability was glitched in the past. So I didn't want to do it in that order in case the glitch was going to happen. I 
And we gotta find a match here. We find a match. Let me. All right, we'll do something while I'm waiting. I'll figure out something to do while I'm waiting. Let's do type racer. Let's see. Let's see what I can get. I haven't done this in a while. Enter a typing race. Brian Wordle. I could have done Wordle as well, you're right. I suck, dude. Alright, 55 words per minute. I'll take it. For my first time doing it in a while. Terrible? Okay. Relax. Wasn't that bad. I wouldn't say it was terrible. You're in a match yet, no. Prince Patty equals K, who's starting with their heli. Art of Vengeance. What's your loadout? Druid Mortar um, Village. It wasn't bad or terrible, it was horrible. Okay. You can relax. Can you stream more this week? I am off. Oh, okay. Since you're off from work, I'll stream more for sure. It's a good reason. What is that Pat spot? Why would you place Pat and Heli in the back instead of placing it like in the front? I guess maybe so you can fit more Helis around Pat. Might be the logic. What do you even need to type fast for? Nothing. I guess, well, I was in college, so I had to type fast for like, typing fast helps me for like essays and stuff. Because he doesn't want to anti-stall. Pat wouldn't really anti-stall by itself. If you had Pat in the front, Pat's not going to anti-stall unless you have your heli target in the front as well, but you can target your heli wherever. To all of them in range. Usually you run Alk. Did it get nerfed? No, I'm just trying something different. It didn't get nerfed or anything. What city do you live in? Uh, I won't tell you the specific city, but I live close to Columbus in Ohio. Okay, they go for two helis. If they're trying to place a bunch of helis around their pad, I still think it would have been better to place it on right here. Because you want your heli, you want your pad to be as close to the start of the map as possible. So this would have been a spot where they can place a bunch of helis around it and it's still on a bend. Would you rather never use Super Monkey again or never use Village? Um, probably never use Village again. Super Monkey's more useful than Village in a lot of cases, I'd say. A better tower. Ryan is close to Ohio. I'm in Ohio. Are they getting a razor rotors on their end? These pad ability. It's fine.
What's well, a strat that works on most of maps? Um, Ninja Oak Farm works on a decent amount of maps. Balloon boost? No, I'm not going to balloon boost when they have uh, Razor Rotors up. Yo, Pat, what's up, man? How you doing today? Welcome to the stream. What's up? What's up? What's up? You and Bolt both live there? Yeah. Me and Boltrix are both from Ohio. They go double Razor Rotors in there. Have you ever played BT Battles 2 on mobile? I have. Ryan is Ohio's final boss. True. How'd you know? Did you meet Boltrix in real life? I have not met him in real life yet. I have not, unfortunately. Heli Super, yeah, I think they're going Heli Super Village. I have played against this person before, that's the strategy they typically go. Ryan gives off Ohio Man vibes, do I actually? Foot reveal? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that, unfortunately. If heritage from Germany or somewhere in Europe, uh, yeah, I do. A decent amount. Why do you ask, Pyshak? Yeah, they use pad ability. I think I'll rush them again. I'll rush them because they don't have pad ability available. They're dead. Why didn't they tower boost? The world may never know. What was blood cooking? I don't know, bro. We let him in the kitchen is the real question. We let bro in the kitchen. All right, while I'm in queue, we got 55 words per, oh, we got another match, Never mind. Dot Trev. Let's go Salmon Ladder. We'll just go classic Bulldog Spike Factor here. The classic. Kind of look European. I am Asian European mix myself. Gotcha. It would have handled with a 0 0 super, but I was nervous playing against the big Mahalik. I see. Let's move out. Like a wise man once said, playing it safe is for losers. Is that wise man being around Mahalik? True. What eco do you recommend without farms? It really depends on the game, cookie dude. I have um eco tutorials on my channel. Just look up Ryan Mahalik eco tutorial. Kind of will walk you through. How you figure out how much eco to go for and how to get that eco. Did we get Reactor Randy's bean tier list yet? Bro still wants the bean tier list, dude. It's been so long since someone brought that up. Bro's still looking for the bean tier list. What would you say is your biggest weakness and strength in the game? Um, Biggest strength is probably versatility. I go a ton of different loadouts comparatively to most people. Um, biggest weakness might be, I don't know, maybe micro.
The second boat here. Long range. Route creep shot. Biggest weakness is not always being focused, I guess, yeah. That could be it. I thought they called you Micro Mahalik. They do. They do, they do. Call me Micro Mahalik. You're right. Are they going Bodok Spike Factory as well? I just realized that they're going Churchill with Boat. They probably are. Can you briefly explain what microing is? Sorry if it's a new question. No, it's all good. Um, uh, microing. Wait, how did I place that? Microing is um basically buying and selling defense really quickly, or like reacting quickly and upgrading a bunch of stuff. Yo, green spike, please stop spamming. It is my job, but you don't have to spam to ask. Having donating meme shots to Ryan is his weakness, true. Did I force Spike Factory in the back? Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> How's it going, Kevin? Welcome to the stream. Best Jericho after Highwayman nerf? A star captain in most cases, I'd say. Agent Jericho is not bad though. Let's go with Spike Factory right here. Put this on smart. I'm leaking a little bit. We're fine though. They send me zebras, I'll just get a can chip on my end. If they don't, okay, they are sending me zebras, get a can chip up. Build up long life. And then we'll get bigger stacks on this as well. What does smart do? It allows you to um target the spikes. Uh, towards all the towards the back and it also makes it so your spike factory has um increased uh, well buying the upgrade that allows tar smart targeting allows your spike factory have increased production at the start of rounds yeah we're good against that uh did not even need alk buff there to be honest, it was not necessary. I might just sell this guy later for a rubber to gold. How much to sell for? 2,000? They got their rubber gold up. Nicely done. Can you do a hairline reveal? I'm good, bro. Good on that. The balloons send faster on this map. The balloons are faster on the mudslides. So like the first 20% of the map down to here, the balloons are faster. I guess that's more than 20%, but from here to here, the balloons are faster. And then their normal speed for the rest of the map. I think he meant balloon sins are faster. Oh no, balloon sins are the same speed. Like, each set of balloons will come out the same. I'll upgrade this alchemist a little bit. We should get deadly spikes soon because they could send a big rush. 
Uh, if they send me a big rush, I'll just use my Adore ability. Or I'll try to get up a, um, Alk buff on my, Alk buff on my boat. You have a dog, right? If you ask what breed. Um, it's like a mix of a Burmese mountain dog and a poodle, I think. Should force some defense. Uh, okay, I'll send them a couple zebras, I guess. I mean, it feeds the rubber to gold is the problem with this. We force can ship, though. They have Churchill as the thing, so. I'll go for a second rubber to gold of mine pretty soon. How's it going, Ertos? After this one throws, I'll get the second rubber gold up. Perfect. Eco looking good. Yeah, the Eco is looking pretty good right now. To use a door level 3 ability. We're good. Okay, let's try to fit these boats the best manner possible. Because you can apparent you can fit um I've heard you can fit nine boats on this map if you have good placements, so I'm gonna test the hypothesis on that. Bro, how? Like how though? Maybe I need to move my can ship. Okay, let's try to get this precisely. Oh, maybe you have to place it a little bit up, I think. You have to place it a little bit up. Maybe. Wait, what? What? That's how you use this chain's the fate not of camo detection? How is that not hitting the camos? I don't understand. That made no sense. I've never seen that happen before. I've literally never seen that happen before, and I've used Chains of Fate so many times. It was on the track. The balloons weren't too small. It was on the track. It got pierce capped. It did not get pierce. If it got pierce capped, it would have disappeared, I think. It doesn't have a pierce cap, I'm pretty sure, as well. It can solo grouped ceramics. I, I, it, do, it doesn't matter if it was you or not, X-Mystic. I died from something that I've never seen before. It wasn't like you did anything special. It's just... That makes no sense. I don't understand. I've seen it solo like 10 sets of grouped ceramics round 28. On the the thing though, Mellow, is that on um the 
like the animation of the chains of fate looked like it was clearly hitting the into the track. So I feel like I should have been able to hit them. Like the circle clearly hit the end of the track. That just made zero sense. Yeah, I guess the hitbox must be different from what you see, which is dumb. Which target like more dart or glue? Uh, I'm not sure. I probably use dart more than glue. Killed like six people in Fortnite and then I died somehow at seven HP because I was shooting, but an officer was blocking my shots. Hate it when you died to something dumb. True. This is very annoying. The quad darts up. Um, I mean that can work sometimes in easy, but when he's facing someone like who's using like heli, I can just target my heli so the Brown will probably be stalled either way if you send balloons or not, you know? But against some loaded second work. Depends on what tower you're facing. Boat Glue Village. Alright, I got you. Thank you for the donation, Kavin. Appreciate it a lot. W's in the chat from my man Kavin Venkatesh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Boat Glue Village. Boat Glue Village. HIV is bugged, by the way. What do you mean it's bugged? How how is it bugged? Ertos. Ooh, a new member. I've That's used the strategy quite a bit. It seems decent. Especially... Pretty sure Apache rockets are not supposed to explode two times. Oh, I see. They use level 3 Fate Weaver ability. It's all good. This cocktail. What's your favorite strategy? My favorite strategy. Not sure, to be honest. They got razor rotors up. I don't know what my favorite strategy would be right now. Ryan, you can GG round 40. Um, opponent's not gonna let me GG round 40. They have dart mortar farm. They're just probably gonna all out me on a round, and if I defend, they'll just surrender. It's normally how it goes. If they send me a big rush, I will boost against it, and then a re-rush, I'll get Arctic Wind. Looks like they're saving up for a bank on their end. What's the latest round you've gone to? 101. Rose for getting to collect his bananas. It's probably glitched. A lot of the time they are collecting their bananas, but it just looks like they aren't from desync.
How much for a BTD6 stream? What would you want me to do on BTD6? Like, what would I even do? BTD6 sleeping stream? Dock border a map. Beat a micro challenge. Races. I could maybe do a BT6 stream at some point. Maybe try it out. Bosses. I don't know how well my community would respond to it though. I feel like most people watch me for battles too. I don't know if they'd be really into BT6. You'd be very good at races. I'm dead. No, I'm not. My ice just totally missed like every single ceramic from that second Moab. I got unlucky timing there, but we survived barely. Get a shove up. Shove's too expensive. It's like 5k against that. Too expensive. Nice heli leaks, thank you. Just trying to get my heli life buff in here. Let's go for a ice to stole these rounds. Because there's going to be some ceramics that come out in this round. So this ice should be able to stole it pretty well. And I'll send them some zebras to stole the round. You can see how my ice tower just grabs them and keeps them there. Good. People who watch BT6 content raise hand. People raising hand in chat. Oh crap. Yeah, we're good. Forgot I didn't have camo protection on my heli. The artillery battery up. They're probably gonna get a monkey nomics on their side, my guess is. If they rush me, I go for Apache Dart Ship. Yeah, they aren't. Let's get down draft on my side. Pretty soon here I'll get my heli farm up. Perfect. My eco's pretty good here. 3500 eco with a heli farm's not bad at all. Looks like you got a BT6 stream. Eventually. Eventually. They're selling all their farms, they get their nomics up, nicely done. And they're not rushing you so you can GG around 40 m They'll rush me like round 30 probably. Elder King. They're gonna send me like an all out rush round 30 or round 32. Is what's gonna happen. And then if I defend it, they'll probably just surrender or die against AI. It's played this game enough to know that most of the time people are just gonna, aren't gonna let you just go to round 40 and then GG round 40 them.
Follow mouse. I think I just get an Apache against this. What I'll do. Apache should be enough. Or I could go Marine. But I'll do Apache because we need Apaches for late game anyways. We need Apaches for late game. Yeah, we're good. Oh wait, I, I'm dumb though. My Apache has middle path on it. I didn't even realize that. So I'll probably I should have just built up a new Apache because I want Apaches to have bottom path on it for late game. So I might just sell this guy and replace him later. Did not realize that till now. Oh, I should stop my eco. By the way, I over ecoed. Opponent almost died to AI. Pretty staring stuff. Yeah. Sell for more heli farms. Yeah, I could. That's probably all the heli farms I'm gonna go for. Which one's on follow mouse? There it is. Patchy dart ship. Bro, hit me with the what's up, guys. Where's the F bad? There it is. We have three boosts available. Let's just boost. It's Firestorm. Just so I can keep as many, many heli farms up as possible here. Chilling. They're sending me more. Comanche Commander. We we'll use another boost here. Again, just trying to keep up as many heli farms as possible right now. This is the name of the game. Firestorm. Let's actually move this right here so it's buffing a lot of helis with teed it up. Save up for an A prime. Patchy yeah. prime. Okay, we're go doing good here.
Hold our arms. Uh, I think I might just homeland. We'll homeland now. Gonna micro this in a bit. I don't need to micro it yet. What's the cooldown on it looking like? We'll cool down, we'll homeland again. I still have a tower boost left. Still got one heli farm on the field. Move my helis up here. Because the rockets will seek, so I can just target these on the upper VAD. Okay, they're all outing me. Now we use homeland and boost. And this should solo. Yep, not even close. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. GG. Does Helios Village die to a decoy all out? Uh, I wouldn't say so. You can kind of micro the helis to around the decoy a little bit. Decoy does definitely make it harder though. Decoy would definitely make it harder. <clears throat> Wind shoots so fast. We also had um homeland defense. Blue time, remember? Yeah, I have to go um what was it? Bolt Glue Village. How you doing? Doing pretty good. How you doing? Buff chains have infinite duration and freeze bads, true. Chains of fate needs massive buffs. Needs massive, massive buffs. Dot Trev. Uh, boat Glue Village would kind of suck on this map, right? There's like three boat spots or two boat spots. Yeah, we're, we're skipping. No way! I'm not going Boat Glue Village on this map. I'm not going Boat Clue Village on this map. I'm not going Boat Clue Village on this map. There's like, there's like two boat spots. I got like two of the worst maps for the loadout. What is that? You have to respect Kevin's wish. Kevin said wait for Star. I mean, it probably wouldn't be that bad on Sands of Time as well. I think Sands of Time or Star. Ninja Elk here? Yeah, I'm going Ninja Elk and, um, what's the other one? Farm, I think I brought. They brought Jericho, so maybe bomb from them or something. It is bomb. Okay. Some last. Oh, a little bit of lag. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, Liko, how you doing today? Start with my Fate Weaver and my Alk. Let's go with. Hmm. How do I want to build up my defense here? This map's always weird to build up defense on because it's. You got the this obstacle causes issues and costs 350 to remove. Go 
for a ninja right here. Maybe keep this on last. So it's not shooting into the obstacle for now. Keep the ninja on last. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. And then Fate Weaver can kind of, Fate Weaver doesn't care about the obstacle, so Fate Weaver can kind of clean up on first. Did they button pressed at me? That's fine. I'm good with that. Anything you want, Gwyn would be best. Yeah, normally you go, go Gwyn with Boke the Village. Typical hero. Yeah, they don't have a farm down. Oh, now they get their first farm. Okay. Right when I said they don't have a farm down. Seeking. Uh, does button press do anything here? Maybe cause a little bit of leakage on my end? I think I'm okay. Not even close. Yeah, we'll get double shot up. They press the button again on me. That's fine. Not worried at all. Not worried at all, chat. Not even close. Not even close, ladies and gents. Ryan, who's your king? My king is Dart Monkey. My king is Boltrix. Boltrix is my king. I love how Bloon Boost makes her defense stronger. <laughs> True that. Bro is the button presser. And he just Bloon Boosted, so now I'm gonna get my ability back for round nine, so thank you for that, good sir. Brian is living on the edge. I'm on the edge of glory. Get a jitsu. If he rushes me around 11, I'll probably just boost against it depending on the size of the rush. Uh, that's not big enough. That's not big enough, chat. It is big enough. I'm dead. Never mind. It was big enough. Barely. Dang it! Oh, that sucks. I leaked probably the perfect amount there. I think I leaked like exactly the amount I needed. That's annoying. That's annoying. The exact amount, chat. Drop and give me 50. And we're not getting a boat map. That's cool. What load out here? Go bin. We'll go Bin Hameen. We'll switch it up for a game. 50 push-ups now? I'm not doing 50 push-ups, bro. I can't even do 50 push-ups. Well, I could do them over like a long period of time. But... You lose this game, you have to hit the gritty. Is that the rule? Is that the rule, bro?
They're going Tack Jericho. Okay. It's going to be a difficult one to win, for sure. Yeah, should be before my Benjamin here. Trust. The decimals line up, guys. The decimals line up. I can afford Ben. Watch, 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 watch. True. I told you, bro. The decimals line up. You just got to trust in the decimals. Trust in the decimals, chat. Like decimals, they ruin division for me. True. And then yellows on top of this. Yeah, they go for a farm. That's fine. A balloon boost. Just cause some nice leakage on their side. You like math? Yeah, math is cool. It was always my best subject in school. Recite Pythagoras Theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah, I want to dodge these reds. Yeah, I dodged a little bit of the steel, but at what cost? But at what cost, chat? Was it worth it? Probably not. Cause I'm like a, I'm like dead here. Yes. Now we're alive. We're good. We're good. No need to fear. We're good here. I pretty much can't use the Benjamin level 3 ability though, because if I do, I think I just always will leak on the downtime. Okay, so let's attack Wiz from them. I think I'm good on the downtime. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm chilling, chat. Yeah, we forced another tower boost on their end. Stole the round out. need to fear. Ryan Mahalik is here. True. You lost all your boosts now. How will you win? Or my boosts? Not my boosts. My balloon boosts. But I'm fine. That. Seven hundred eco. Pat Fusty versus Grizzly Bear. Grizzly Bear would lose, dude. Come on, it's Pat. What do you expect? What do you expect? It's Pat, bro. It's the Fustinator. Chillin'.
I think I'll get round 16 bank here. Be the plan. Never mind on that. Actually, I might still afford it. One eco boost. Got it. Big, big play, big play. Isn't it late? Yeah, but I have Benjamin, so Benjamin buffs the bank income, so I still think it might be worth. Just because I have Ben. The Ben difference. Now I've got to worry about Jericho AI, which is going to be a problem for me. Isn't Bomb Ice Village with Biker Bones a good strat? Uh, I wouldn't say it's that good. Should defend. We're good. Easy defense, ladies and gentlemen. Get a little bit more eco. Get this up to a plant. Oh, I'm gonna be a little bit off, aren't I? Wait, they're dead. They double wool fire. I should have blocked it with purples. If I blocked those with purples, he would have been dead. Oh, I forgot to see purples. Get a sticky bomb up. If he sends me a fortified BFB or a ZMG, I'll get a sticky bomb. They're dead. What? What is that? I just saw them leak, bro. I'm gonna act like that didn't happen, I guess. They were dead on my screen. Prediction. Prediction play. Prediction play. Oh, they built up a farm. There's no way they sent me a ZMG. Wait, I could have used my Benjamin level 10 ability when they starshipped at me and stopped all those purple balloons. Why didn't I do that? Because I know they're sending something with the starship. I should have just done that. That's fortified ZMG, I'm guessing. Regular ZMG. Alright. I don't think regular ZMG is that bad for us. We'll probably use one Sabo. Sabo this. Let's boost this because he's sending region rainbows behind everything. Okay, this actually might be a little bit of a rough one. This should be enough. Yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling. Playing it safe.
stole the round. Okay, they're star shipping at me. It's just pink balloons, that's fine. I can afford Master Bomber for round 28, I'm pretty sure. Should be able to. This sells for 15k, 27k. Yeah, I can afford it. I can afford it. Yo, thank you for the raid last. Appreciate it. Bank? Yeah, just because I have Benjamin and I've had it up for a while. ZMG. My, I want my master bomber to be farther back, so I'm actually just gonna go double sticky here. The back one will be where I have my master bomber later. GG. Master Bomber comes in clutch. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Master Bomber. He's the master. Wow, that was intense. Ryan is really gold at PTBOS too. I appreciate that. Frick, now there's no greedy. I never even agreed to it, bro. Wait, what? I didn't agree to the gritty. Your defense are godly. So fun to watch. Thank you. GG. You subconsciously agreed? Bro, no, I didn't. Yo, James Mercier with the dollar donation. Yo, thank you so much, James. W's in the chat from a man, James Mercier. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we call you Greedy Mahalik. True. Uh, like his like his donation. All right, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good, James. How you doing today, bro? How you doing today? Appreciate the donation. Aqua. Well, this is not um Star, so fortunately, Oakley Village is not really be happening here. Oru Garden, bro. What are these maps, bro? What are these maps, brother? I have to go to work. Have a nice stream. You'll see a Kofa the bear, the bowler. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Let's go dart mortar farm. Ryan, he has a top 100 badge. I'm worried about you, dude. You should be. This guy is crazy. Oh, I see James. Clan Wars be rough. In Hom, do you get paired with the same players frequently? Uh, decently frequently, yeah. Decent frequently. Decently frequently. Alright. Start with... We'll go with a... Put this one on last. A double dart start, believe it or not. One of these on last to anti-stall, and then one right here. Alright, that's perfect. And then our plan will be to get it round two, Fate Weaver Adora. Just so we can max eco it.
Oh, they're going... They're sending me greens. They probably have a farm loadout then. It might be like dart sniper farm or something. I should have placed my Fate Weaver here. This is the anti-Fate Weaver spot that people use. But they don't have Fate Weaver Dora, so... I should have placed it like right here. This would have been a better spot. The spot I place, it's the anti-Fate Weaver spot. Alk Churchill. Okay. Alk Churchill. I think he's cooking. Chat. He's in the kitchen. They got their farm down. Let's get razor sharp on this. You go sport or crossbow? Here I'm gonna go crossbow. Above my trip dart. Like right here, I think, is where you put the crossbow. Hey Ryan, long time no see. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, Fabian. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Doing pretty solid. Um Balloon Boost? Are they dead? They tower boost. One life. One life clutch. One life clutch. Question mark. Do I need razor sharp on this? I'm gonna go razor sharp. Just because I'm leaking a million. Why am I leaking so much? Are my placements bad or something? Maybe put some first. I don't understand. Spike factory. Alk Spike Factory Farm. That is certainly one of the loads of all time. I think bro is cooking. You might you need to get a zero two three crossbow. Upgrade for you. Okay, I see. I see. I went for the wrong crossbow cross path. You want them attacking at the same time. Okay, yeah, they got a farm down, nicely done on the farm. Was out of my usual time zone and didn't catch you live, but enjoyed your videos. You're still the GOAT. Yo, I appreciate it a lot, dude. You're the GOAT as well. You're the GOAT too. Uh, what's going on? They're selling stuff. I'm a bit worried. They're gonna alt buff up. Jaya says two zero three and crossbow. I think it's map dependent. Sometimes you go two zero three, sometimes you go zero two three. Pretty sure it's map dependent. Which upgrades you go for in it? Yes, it is with mirror. How exciting is that? I really don't think brushing them is very wise. They have two Alks up top, and they have an Alk with Spike Factory in the back, and they have Churchill. I'll keep beat going until they get Rubber to Gold up on their side. So far, there's no sign of it. On this map, he says it's 203, I see. So 
Doesn't reraw just regen farm and kill them? Not really. If those are zero, if those are perishing potion alchemists, they do a ton of layers of damage. There's not that much time for them to regen farm. They probably just use Churchill 3 ability. We'll stop at 1250 eco. Oh, they got their rubber world up anyways. Yeah, they get, uh, what's it called? That they spikes on their side and it's alk buffed. That pile will definitely be quite strong. No rushes from them. Plan will probably be to send them some sort of round 22 rush. I don't think they'll be able to defend it. Maybe send a couple fortified BFBs before it. They will die to round 19 AI. Yeah, there's actually a good chance they died AI as well. Their Churchill is the only thing that's really... If I had Jericho, they'd be in trouble versus AI. Uh, they're looking like they're going to outbuff their Churchill. Yeah, they boost against AI. It's funny. Who someone called it. That they'd be in trouble versus AI. Okay, we're just gonna send another fortified BFB. I should have cut, collected this before I did my um, I'm a Flone. Would have been smarter, but it's all good. I have Chains of Fate available too. And boost. Yeah, they're still dead. GG. Good try. Preparing the Circle of Darts for a Ritual of Love. True. Bro, no, I got a B plus in social studies. No, dude. Only a B plus, bro? I gotta be an A's, bro. What is opponent's third? They had farm. It was Alk's back farm. Bro, why we got someone named Code Boltrix in the chat? You know what code you should be using? You should be going into the shop tab, creator support, Ryan Mahalik in the creator, in the item shop. Code Ryan Mahalik in the item shop. What you should be using. Did you pop 15 million balloons yet? Uh, let me see. I haven't checked that in a... I've popped four... 
I've popped 406 million. What do you mean 15 million? 406 million balloons popped. Let me see if there's anyone who has got more than me. Oh, wait, this is a new account from Ninjaius, yeah. He's got 53 million. 255 million. Oh, player probably has more than me. Yeah, he probably does, because he goes late game every match, and he has tons of games played. Yeah, 735 million. That's crazy. Yeah, he's got more games played than me, and he goes late game more often than me. He's probably got the most, I'd imagine. He's probably got the most. I wonder if DG Longley has more than player. DG Longley definitely doesn't. DG Longley dies round 13 most games. Even if he has more games played. Like, you're not popping very many balloons. Check Snowy Owl. All right. There's one other person who has a lot of games played. But I don't... They die right... They die early most times. I don't know what rank they are. They said they're in top 100. Snowy Owl. Here it is. 20. Okay. Uh, they have more balloons pop than me, actually. 24,000 matches played. Bro. That's crazy. 24.2k matches. And you've won. He has like a 40 something percent win rate because he's only won 11,000. Ryan, I'm trying to learn Druid sub farm, but I cannot figure out when to buy Lightning versus Druid of Wrath early game. Can you explain? Yeah, so if you can't figure it out just by Lightning, Lightning's a safe play. Um, but the only times you want to buy Druid of Wrath early game is one, if you have something Pierce buffing your Druid, like if you have Oban with it. Or, um, and then that's only if you have Oban with it and you're on a good map for Druid of Wrath. So... If you have open with it and you're on Oasis, then you buy Druid of Wrath. If you have open with it and you're on um, Sands of Time. So, you need two things to be true there. For you. Snowy Owl the Goat, true. Snowy Owl is indeed the Goat. Uh, do I go? Yeah. I don't really like this map, to be honest, but we got it, I guess. Not a huge fan of precious space. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Ryan, I'm trying to learn Jard slash sub slash farm, but I cannot figure out when to buy lightning versus Ooh, we'll practice a few more matches with that setup. Game. Can you explain? Awesome. Hope I helped. Hope I helped you out there. They won't tack. Tack shouldn't be that good on this map, but I don't really know bomb sub farm that well on this map. I normally just skip this map. And they brought Jericho, if I remember correctly. I think it was normal Jericho, so it's not placed my farmer. You want round one Fedora? You can greet an extra upgrade with Fedora for Sherry? Okay. Played Druid Subfarm against Kevin Gaming 64 and lost. Dude, Kevin Gaming 64 is a beast. So. That explains it. I'm gonna layer a little bit on them to try to get some balloons passed. Yeah, they tower boost. Didn't try to stall the round. But we forced tower boost with it, so I'll take that. Yeah, they got round one Jerry, so they'll get a steal this available this round. Which is fine. Yo, Dot Trev, thank you so much for the 40 person raid on the Twitch side. Yo, appreciate it. I think I played you a couple games today. I hope you ever hope you had a good stream. Thank you. 
I really appreciate it, bro. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I don't know how well this will handle. I'm just gonna hope it does well. I kind of built the second sub just to avoid the Jericho steal. I, I know Dot Trev's a BTD6 streamer. I've stopped by his stream a couple times. But he must have been playing Battles 2 today. Also, Dot Trev is better at BT Battles 2 than you. True. Don't forget to like the stream, indeed. If you're on YouTube. I'm starting to think I can never beat Kevin. Yeah, Kevin Gaming is a pretty solid player. No cap or Rooney. Avoid the steal. There we go. Like, I don't know what to do at this point with the loadout. Like, do you go for a bomb for, like, region zebras? Do you go for triple guns? Not exactly sure. I think I've seen people place their bomb here and here. Go for a bomb right here. Okay, they aren't sending me. So I'll save it for a plan. Cluster. Okay. Oh my gosh, thank you for the Twitch sub. I appreciate it. Go double plant. Uh, I can tank that camo. Boost this. What do I do against a big region rainbow rush? Double cluster and reactor? I feel like that's definitely common. I guess that's what I do. I don't I don't really know. How to play this to be honest. Sub here, I can. Avoid the steel. Necromancer OP as always. It's not that OP. I'm gonna go like 1250 eco and then I'll probably stop. I don't need to go for too much eco here. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure what defense I'm supposed to build up against certain rushes. He dies late, right? Yeah. I have a late game advantage, but they'll probably be out moneying me. currently. Okay. 
Okay. I probably should have just microed Assassin, to be honest. Would have been the better play there, but I didn't. I think microing Assassin is not a bad play. Well, if they send fortified mobs cheap, though, is the thing. I definitely have spam fortified BFBs at me, I'm pretty sure. They're gonna end up IMF on their side, maybe? Um, okay, that's cool. I love it when I see a million leaks and nothing actually happened. Great game. We got going here. All right, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Nice defend, thank you. <laughs> they sold all the islands. I i don't know if I've seen that before. That's kind of funny. They sold every single island. Oh wait, no, never mind. they didn't. They have the top island. I'm wrong. They didn't sell every island. I could have also removed the big island to afford bomb blitz too. I was thinking about that. I didn't need to remove it though, but I could have removed the big island and only had the middle island if, I, if it came down to it. Ryan, do you think you can beat Spoon Oil? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. Do you think you can beat Kevin Gaming 64? Yeah, I'd say so. He's a good player though. No hate to Kevin Gaming. Do you think you can beat Boltrix if you tried? Yeah, I'd say so. How does Bomb Blitz work? When um a balloon's about to leak from the screen, it nukes the entire screen kind of um with the same damage basically as a Zar Bomba. The Bew. Think of it as a Zar Bomba, but it only activates when a balloon's about to leak. That's how I kind of think of it. So it can pop all the fortified BFBs. It can't pop a ZMG though. Before or after a leak. It's bef right before. Right before. So you don't actually leak, which is the nice part. If it was after a leak, you'd probably just die a lot of the time. Because a lot of the time it would just leak a big amount of lives. It's a split second before. How often does it do that though? Uh, I don't know what the cooldown is. It, A couple of minutes is the cooldown, I think. But most of the time, if you need to use it again, you won't wait for it to come back on the cooldown. You'll uh, micro it, because you can just sell and rebuy it. You can sell and rebuy it, and then you'll get the ability back. 
In BT6, it's after. It leaks. Yeah, I know. It's really good. That's why it's really good in battles too. It's not after. Does bomb blitz kill undamaged FBFBs? Yeah, it does. I think. Until unless they're ramped, Justin. If the BFBs are ramped a decent bit, I don't think it kills them. But if they're unramped, fortified BFBs, I think it kills them. A cooldown's 40 seconds, okay. 40 second cooldown. I see. By the way, guys, if you are not in my Discord server, exclamation point Discord in the chat to join. And I am live on YouTube and Twitch, so just Ryan Mahalik on both platforms. Bomb that souls damaged FCMG if something else. Yeah, I mean, that's how. That's how Zara Bomba would work as well, I'm pretty sure. If you just. If you damage stuff, something a ton. You stream on YouTube? I do stream on YouTube. What's the Discord's purpose? So. Here, I'll show you. Give me a second. My Discord server um, has a bunch of chance. Like, well, the main purpose of the Discord is that you get announced every time there's like patch notes, updates to the game, and then whenever I live stream or upload something on YouTube, you'll get uh, notified as well. But there's also like people are pretty active in the chat, just talking about strategies, stuff in the game, how to defend certain stuff. There's a there's a text channel for questions about the game, which people often like answer. Um, people like to clip stuff from my streams and put it in the Ryan Clips chat. There's a decent amount of stuff you can do in here, so yeah. Exclamation point Discord if you're interested. It's a pretty active Discord overall. Why did you stream in hashtag shorts form? Uh, I was trying it out. I might do it again eventually. I was having some issues with it last time I did it, so I kind of stopped for a bit. But I, I don't think it's a bad idea to stream in shorts format sometimes. I'm surprised that Fedora stats are still untested, although part of that is because my original understanding was that info was just that of mind. It's not. Which is why Razor Rotors is normal damage to see. Wordle? Yeah, I am still in queue. I could do Wordle. Actually, let's do another type racer while well, I'm in queue. I got 55 last time. Let's see if I can beat 55. Let me move my keyboard a little bit more to the center of my desk since I'll be using both hands on the keyboard here. Okay. We gotta beat 55 words per minute, guys. It's a tough task. Wait, I'm click oh no. Oh now we get a match. No way. Okay, we beat it. 60. We got 60 words per minute. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, we got sticky keys. W sticky keys. Sixty words per minute. What is that? A type racer? Yeah, just search up typeracer.com. It's just a website where it gives you random um random text from like books and stuff, and you're against other people online. It's a good way to practice your typing speed. Okay, 
Okay, they're definitely going bomb sub farm here, by the way. 100,000 percent that's this strategy. What's your record on higher or lower? I haven't played that game in a while. I don't remember what my record was. Last time I played it was during my marathon stream. I remember I was facing the chat in it. Pretty fun game though. I defend round 11 with ice super farm, uh, icicles with a super monkey. And then you can use a door level 3 ability as well to help you out. When is the next, um, you try a ban on this map, Boat Elk Ninja? I could at some point. I've thought about it. When is the next marathon stream? Probably the summertime. Probably going to be in the summertime, my next marathon stream. Hopefully Subathon was, was so fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I just can't do them too often. One, because uh, I feel like they'd be kind of greedy from me. But two, it's very draining and tiring. So, And they kind of just lose their hype if I do them too often, you know? So I want to space them out a bit. I think I'm gonna go by. You'll see ya. Thank you for stopping by the stream. Appreciate it. Uh, do I get two eco boosts here? I'm not entirely sure. Do I get an eco boost, please? No way, I don't. And why'd I buy it? Why'd I buy it? I could have just waited till the end of the round. Oh well. I threw. Thought I'd get an eco boost. I threw. Gotta play through the misplay, yeah. First time last game, killed him around 13. Were you going Boat Alk again? Or were you going Bomb Sub Farm? Okay. I'll take that. That was a very small rush I sent, and I got good defense out of it. Nice little bait. Mirror, I see. How was, how was the Bulk Loot Village game? I haven't gone Bulk Loot Village yet. He w he said he wanted me to wait till I get Star to get it, and I haven't gone Star yet. Um, I guess I could probably try on Sands of Time too. I have used that strategy before on Sands of Time. It's not terrible, but yeah. Star or Sands of Time is really what I'm looking for to play Bulk Loot Village.
What does rubber to gold do? Um, it it coats so you can see every couple th throws it coats balloons and gold and stuff, and then when you pop the golden balloons, it gives you money. It turns rubber balloons into gold money, true. Through that. You explained it quite well. Okay, so they're on one boost currently, if I remember correctly. Nicely done. I saw my rubber gold miss an attack a lot when it was on close. Do you have any tricks to fix it? Most of the time, I, when I'm using it, it'll miss the attacks only when it's something that's not close. Are they dead? Yeah, they're dead. What? I guess tower boost worked. So, yeah, most of the time I never use last targeting or first or something, because that's when it tends to miss for me. So, I don't know why I missed on close for you. It's a little odd. From my experience, it's the opposite. Close is the most consistent. Is Fedora an S tier hero? Um, I'd say so. Yeah, they used mob assassin ability on, the, on an AI Moab, so they're not going to have it for the BFB. Which I guess is good for me. So asking because I really don't really know what to do now. I see. I forced a lot of defense with that BFP, that was a good rush. Yeah, I'm probably done rushing for now then. Trying to force what I'd like out of him. Favored. Hello Ryan, how's it going Nicholas? How are you doing today? nine boats uh I can try I already fit this boat on the right though which kind of probably messed it up I don't really want to sell stuff to just try to get it I don't really want to waste energy and money doing it Fog on this map, is it obstructive? Buy favored and sell it. It's already got buffed by favored, but yeah, I'm not I don't worry about it too much. I thought I'd get enough money for my rubber golds to afford it there, but I didn't. Is this a good strat? The strat I'm going is pretty solid. I'd say.
Stop my eco right there. What he's gonna send? Okay. Makes sense. Send him one of these. Honestly, you're in a first strike. I'll send. I'll trade a first strike for a fortified BFB send. If he wants to do that. Take the trade. He's in trouble. He's in big trouble. He's dead. <laughs> uh, it, it's such a good send. The fortified BF, the ramp fortified BFBs are so good against bomb sub farm. So good. Cause like the best, one of the best ways for them to defend it is just first striking it, but that's still a good trade for me. So it, that's why it's a good rush. They have to spend a million dollars to defend it or they have to first strike it. And both are pretty good for me. All right, see if I can get um star here. I got 98% on Geometry Dash Extreme Demon. I don't play Geometry Dash, I don't know the map, but congratulations. I don't think they're skipping. Yeah, the pro the problem was Ninjas, he um Use his Churchill 10 ability on the fortified BFB layer. But instead of the Mo fortified Moab layer. But if they used, I would have just sent another one. And then they would have, have um had Churchill 10 ability available for it. But yeah, with Churchill 10 ability available, it does make it a little bit easier for sure. Ryan, I can see an ice monkey in the thumbnail, but not being used in game. What kind of sorcery is this? You got clickbaited, my friend. No, I used the ice monkey. I think I used the ice monkey one game in this stream. I used Heli Ice Village one game. So it's not a total clickbait. Interesting tack spot. They placed their tack lower. Interesting. Oh, okay, no, they don't have Fate Weaver. I was gonna say, if they had Fate Weaver, this is a bad spot for me to place mine. But they have Jericho. I think the anti Fate Weaver spot's like up here, is where I like to place it. But. I should send them spaced balloons, shouldn't I? Or sleeks. Get a farm down. And we'll upgrade this to even faster firing in a second. Tax spot is a bit lower than yours, but is better before blade, but yours is better with blade, yeah. That makes sense. But if they have boat as well. I don't understand the reason of using that attack spot because boat's going to supplement a little bit of your defense and I assume they have boat because they're sending me group deco. 
Put a mortar down. I'm not gonna get a mortar down for a bit, brother. Okay, there's steel in for me. I forgot it's normal Jericho I'm facing. Let's avoid the steel. Yeah, I didn't really avoid that very well. Kinda was zoned out. And we still avoid like half of it, so it wasn't total wash. But I have leaked a lot more than I'd like. Yeah, we're good against that. My my fedora seeked a lot of those balloons for us. Why no mortar? I'll be getting a mortar later, bro. When I'll probably get a signal flare is the next mortar I'll get because I'll need to you need it for camo detection. But right now there's no need. They get their next steal round seven. They're stealing from me. Mortar be placed to avoid the steal. Okay, I avoided a good bit of it. I should be able to tank round eight camos without much of a worry. There's no way there's 80 leaks of camos in round eight. Does A bat defend? P-E-R-O-D on forts. Defend what? Now I have camo detection, I'm good. Send me that. Let's get fat rapid reload on this. I think that's enough to defend those. Yeah. We have the door, so region zebras aren't that bad. Oh yeah, ABAT defends reroute on ports. against that. Go for a third farm. Yeah. Well, you want to... It depends with Mirror. If you have Jericho, you need 220 or whatever for Zebras, but with, if you if you have a Fate Weaver door with the extra DPS, you don't need it. So it's, it's dependent on the hero. Greed, greed is good, true. They're gonna re-rush me? I don't even like buying shell shock a lot now. Most of the time I'll just buy heavy shells into an ABAT with a mortar. Kind of skip over shell shock now a lot of the time. Is Fedora three better than Quincy ten? No, Quincy ten is better than Fedora three. We avoid the steel pretty well. Uh, if they rush me here, depending on the size of the rush, I'll boost or maybe not boost. That's not very big. Let's use a door level three. Yeah, we're good. I love your vids. Yo, thank you, Johan Twitch. Appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Oh no. Boost. My mortar targeting is quite bad, I'll be honest. Oops, indeed. Quick shot F mob, trust.
Uh, we force tower boost and a bout ability. I'll take that. Not a bad force. At all. I'm dead. No, I'm not. I almost threw. I almost threw chat. I almost threw. We're good. I should have just gone for a Maelstrom in that corner instead of a Tax Sprayer. That's what I should have done, but we're chilling. GG. Ryan, how did you win? He had all ZMG badges. I thought he would win, dude. ZMG badges are scary. I'm not gonna lie. GG, Sky. Can you private battle me next? No, I'm not doing private battles. I'm just doing ranked. Ranked, brother. How's it going, Kevin Gaming 64? I wanted to rush F mob with the route change, but I went too early. Yeah, the route that could have been dangerous. That could have been dangerous for sure. How are you this good? Practice, bro. Practice makes perfect. Been okay, just working on my editing. Nice. Been lurking a ton. Kevin the goat has arrived, true. True, true. Honestly, the trick to find a match is by opening type racer and starting another race and beating 60 words per minute. So while I'm in queue, let's just do this. Oh, I'm not gonna beat 60 words per minute. Look how many big words there are in this one. A Z lot. See, it's, it works. Oh, I readied up. I meant to skip. No. Well, rip the type racer. Why'd I click ready up? Uh, do I play this map? What do I even play on this map? Let's go attack mortar. What keyboard layout do you use? What do you mean keyboard layout? You're talking about for balloons? Just exclamation point binds in the chat. Just one tap type racer? What do you mean one tap did? Like you didn't have to backspace? 93 words per minute, 98.8 accuracy. Oh my gosh. He's the goat. He's the goat. First try, you're crazy. I'm retiring now. You have to. I mean, that's the only option after a performance like that. I 
I know if we snipe, I'll get 100% star. True. That's what, literally what would happen. Alright, since they went for top path attack, I'm gonna do a la layer on them. Yeah, we forced the fully cross path blade. I'll take that. He gets a st oh, they have Jericho. Yeah, steel. Okay, we can avoid it. We avoided a decent amount of it, not a ton, but an okay amount. Not a bad amount of the steel, by any means. so weird how paper plays more attack from wizard than ninja alk these days bro paper sees everyone else playing ninja alk and he's like time to play attack from wiz we do a face review at 50k subs i will do a face review at 50k subs yep yeah, that's what i it's exactly what i did vidora i will do a face review at 50k subs guys so just stay tuned for that should be pretty exciting stuff. Oh, uh, I was literally, that was really bad. I was like $20 off affording my thing. I didn't avoid that steal very well at all. I like this layer. Black balloons, white balloons, and purples on top. It's pretty good against Tac Wiz on this map. Black balloons, white balloons, purples on top. Try it out in your next game chat. Enforce some defense on your opponent for cheap. Uh, let's just boost this. off. I'm not avoiding the steals very well, am I? So good. So good. We're good. We're fine. where I want to have it targeted. Yeah. AI balloons are scary on this map. I'll definitely just need to buy a shell shock. I'm pretty sure. the steel. Okay, I don't want to use my last boost. Last boost, not good idea to use.
Let's just save. I've got good eco here. Should send them whites, you're right. I'm just in the habit, I'm in the habit of sending black balloons, but I know against Necromancer, white balloons are better now. Because it's more dense. That's Necromancer for you. Is Ninja Elk Strat good? Yeah, Ninja Elk's very good. Pricks. Ninja Elk is very, very good. Necromancer is OP for real? It is OP for real. How do you defend without Necro since it clearly sucks? It's still best to go for Necro than not build it up, Red. Still the move. But the problem is my poem pretty much only had a Necro on their side. And Necro is extremely cheap. Like, my defense with a Signal Flare, Shell Shock, Heavy Shells, Blade Shooter is much much more expensive than a necromancer so you can't expect a necromancer to defend my eco and the ai he needs to build up more defense um let's try ninja elk on this map how do i join your clan I don't think they're we're really accepting people right now, but I'm not really super big into clans right now either. Kind of been taking a break from clans. Right, that guy seems good. Look at his badges. Oh, I missed the badges. Could have forced mail or boost round 11 with a 1.5k eco layer. Probably. But I also needed to be careful for round 11 morphine because I didn't have boost available round 11. I boosted round 9. So. I need to, um, I couldn't, I didn't really want to rush round 11. Go bigger potions. See how this does. I think AI balloons will be an issue for Ninja Elk on this map. That's the only reason I haven't really ran Ninja Elk on this map too much is the split path. The split path of the map is makes it weird for the ninja targeting, and the ninja kind of gets blocked by the AI balloons a lot of the time. This is this a good ninja spot? Probably. That's yeah, probably a decent ninja spot. They're sending me blues. Are they going to eco? Rubber to gold makes you so much money from it, though. Loss. Win. Rubber to gold makes you so much money from what, though? Why does it matter when Ninja got homing? No, it matters because your Alchemist normally pops down a lot of the AI balloons for you and doesn't block your Ninja. Um, And then the AI balloons don't block your Ninja as much. But when split path, your Alchemist is doing nothing against the AI balloons. Oh, Jericho AI yeah, gives you a lot of money? Yeah. But split path also hurts, um, split path also hurts rubber to gold because I'll need two rubber to golds if I want one for his uh, synth balloons and um, AI balloons. Rubber to golds and balloon traps kind of work differently. Split path is good for balloon traps, but it's bad for rubber to gold. Oh no. 
Uh, my alchemist can't reach up there yet. It should be able to reach though. It should be able to reach though with alk buff, right? With alk buff, it should be good. Oh, I need to upgrade this as well. I'm being way too. It's gonna be on the defense. Yeah, look at oh my alk. My ninja just seeked some of the. That's bad. Do you guys see what happened there? My ninja was shooting some AI balloons down here, and then it made my um alchemist not hit black balloons. I don't, that made me leak a lot. That's what I'm talking about with the AI balloons messing up your targeting. That's what I'm talking about, chat. Hundred percent reaches. Trust me. Okay, I'll trust you. Are we good against purples with this defense? Here's we are. We're gonna go for another farm then. And then I'll need a berserker brew if they send me. I'll need a berserker brew and zebras. I'm pretty sure. Put ninja in first druid spot and target close. I could put the ninja here, you're right, but I don't really want- I want the ninja to be able to hit further down the track, is the thing. You want the ninja to be able to hit further down the track, so then the ninja's hitting the balloons after your, um, after your alchemist ha has its damage over time dealt on it, if that makes sense. If I have my ninja here, it'll be hitting the balloons a lot of the time while the, de the damage over time from the alchemist is still being applied, and it'll be less effective defense overall. So that's... My line of logic there. Okay, it looks like they're good. They afforded their ring of fire in time. Why farm over sniper or heli? Because I don't think ninja elk defends that well on this map, so I need I need farm. And I'm against Jericho as well. Bro's got triple tack set up. Bro's triple tacked up. Okay, we're good. Get roft on. True. I need to get a rubber to gold up. Uh, my ninja's gonna remove all my rubber to gold money, isn't it? Place it like all the way over here. My ninja's like stealing all my rubber to gold funds, dude. Oh, it does reach, by the way, chat. It does reach. But Alchemist can hit through anything, by the way. I know. But it's still better to put the rubber gold here versus up here. I want it to be as close to the start of the track as possible. So then it hopefully gets some of the balloons before my ninja pops them. Super monkey. Tax sub super monkey. This sounds like a strategy that will die to like two fortified beauties around 30. That's what it sounds like to me. I'll probably get my sec I'll probably get my AI rubber to gold on round 19 is my plan with that. He's cooking. Is he actually cooking? Is he in the kitchen chat? I'm gonna go 2k eco. And then I'll stop my economy. Aren't Overdrive pretty efficient F bad damage? Not without damage buffs. They aren't that great. Plus, he doesn't have really good cleanup as well. Their strategy is just really weak late. Their strategy is very, very weak late. 
They might defend more than two F-Bads. I was probably exaggerating with that, but... It's because, especially because this map's it's getting stalled a ton. Yeah, we're good. All right, we're good. Oh, the AI Moab actually might be a problem. Boost. Uh, we definitely do not need to boost. I overreacted. Well, at least the boost actually boosted my rubber to gold for around 21 AI, so it actually wasn't that bad in hindsight. And rubber to gold makes you like $2 million, so that wasn't actually that bad. Hi, Daddy. Yo, how's it going, Omar? Welcome to the stream, brother. We got 16k in there. Why the zero to two alchemist? They have really good fortified damage. Uh, zero to one alchemist, where you have perishing potions and faster throwing, have really strong fortified damage. So they're good against fortified moabs. Uh, yo, I'm making more money from the AI than I am from his eco crunker. Against Jericho AI ceramics. I make, I'm definitely making more from the AI. As weird as that sounds. I might go for a second, especially when my ninja is also popping half of his synth balloons before they hit my rubber to gold too. Especially when my ninja's kind of ruining my synth balloon money. That's weird because there's barely any balloons from the eye. A pink balloon is $5. A ceramic is over $100 for a rubber to gold. And the majority of the balloons coming from the eye path are ceramics because of Jericho. And it's all pinks from his scent. Probably shouldn't, probably wasn't worth selling and rebuying that, but it is what it is. I'll probably just change the fate these. Why is it that sometimes I can defend round, all at round 24, sometimes I died around 11 purples? Sounds like a skill issue to me. What sounds like Omar. Sounds like a major skill issue. I can fit four farms up here? I did not know that. 
I probably didn't know that. I probably just forgot it, to be honest, but... Not, hmm. I feel like I should be able to fit more in my Alk range. I guess not. Probably not the best Alk spot of all time, but it is what it is. They're dead. GG! GG with Mir. Yeah, I just played against with Mir, bread. That was with Mir for sure. You almost got me with the strat. I was locked in there at the end. They shouldn't have sold 204 super. 204 super does like negative two damage. Summer's closer. You know what that means, Ryan? What's that mean? What's that mean, brother? What does that mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. All right, see you, Kian. Rip two zero four super true. Maybe a marathon. That's true. That's true. Streamathon, yes, yes indeed. Yes indeed. How long are you gonna stream? Probably not much longer. Probably a couple more games. Couple more matches. Run a marathon on stream this time, please. <laughs> Make it a real marathon stream and run a marathon. Run a triathlon, please. Bro, I have not been getting star, bro. Like, what is what is these maps? Or Sands of Time. I said I'd do on Sands of Time as well. Ryan, should I go do Chipotle, Subway, or Chick-fil-A today? Well, first of all, Omar, Chick-fil-A is closed because it's Sunday. So... Nice try. I think you're trying to trick me on that one. But, Chipotle. Oh! 
No way. No way. No way. We got it. We got it. We got it. Exclamation point chipotle, double wrap burrito, white rice, chicken, tomato, extra corn, extra cheese, lettuce, and yeah, chips sometimes. The NK gods got you. True. Hopefully Kavin's in the chat. I haven't seen Kavin chat for a while, so there's a chance he donated and then just left. Because I didn't ever get star. Definitely a chance. Ryan, you should have skipped star. You're right. They're going Alk. Okay. This is the request. This is the yes. This is the requested strat from like over an hour ago. He wanted me to play it on Star because this is like the main map, like the only map you can really run it on. He is here. Bro said finally. This is basically bold ice but worse. Uh, not exact always worse. The glue buff is map wide. Super glue is better than icicle and pale. Uh, your round 13 defense I think is better with glue hose and D regrow village. So there's a couple advantages to glue over ice. Definitely a couple advantages. I wouldn't say it's just flat out worse. I leaked, didn't I? Oh my gosh, no way! That sucks. That actually sucks quite a bit. Yeah, it's pretty difficult, it's pretty impossible to stay leakless with this loadout, so. I'll have to be aggressive. That's unfortunate. Very, very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Wait, they leak down the same amount? They have light, they have helicopter in their loadout. 100%. They have life rejuvenation. Everyone just goes Ninja Hawk Heli on every long map. So. Could be Snipe or no, it's gonna be Heli. Heli is the easiest one to use. Everyone just goes Heli. It's not gonna be Sniper. I'd bet on it. Sniper is easier to use? No, it's not. What about farm? They could be using farm? No. They wouldn't be sending me this much eco if they were bringing farm. They would have had a farm but down by now. No, you start with ninja now. I suck at balloons. You start with ninja now because ninja got a pierce buff, so the ninja starts more optimal. They might have forgotten that they brought farm, true. How did I not think of that?
How did I not consider that a possibility? Gotta watch out for pocket IMF, true. I missed the tower stacking glitch. Dude, the tower stacking glitch was crazy. Wait, why 230 over 031? Because I need a camo village anyways. Red. 230 has more, a lot more overall damage than 031, especially when I'm getting pierced buffed by Gwendolyn. You just normally go bottom path because you need camo detection, but in this case, I don't need camo detection. I'm using village for camo. Bro's gonna have ninja leaks and true. Nice try. It was a valiant effort. Grape shot. First. First. We're good. We're fine. Why is he rushing? Not entirely sure. They are giving me an opening in the game by rushing, though, for sure. Why no merchant? I'm getting up a merchant now. Eco is crazy. There's the heli. I told you guys. Everyone's saying sniper, sniper, sniper. Guys, I knew it from round one that they're going heli. Obvious. It's obvious, brother. You know what would be cool? What would be cool? Tower that allows you to place water towers on land like Arctic Wind. To place land towers on water. Arctic Wind? You, you, you said it the wrong way, I think. I know what you're trying to say, but you, you explained it the wrong way. They're dead. Daniel Yi win fortified BFB. BFB has little value versus heli. It just forces mob shove. I mean, I still would have been fine with forcing a mob shove. To be honest. Because I need to drain them a little bit, so forcing any defense is good for me. But GG. Um, I think we'll call it there, guys. It's been a good stream. Been a fun one. 
thank you again for uh, from Dotra for the raid. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah. One second though, we are gonna raid this kid. Oh, intense late game, guys! Intense late game going on on a wreck stream. Holy cow! What's going on here? Everybody, head over. Big raid, big raid, big raid. I got a, I got a Twitch ad. Head over to a Wreckfest stream. All right, see you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Peace out.